YouTube, YouTube, what is good? We're back for another episode of Marvin's Room. Thank you guys, as always, so much for joining me wherever you're at in the world. To the new subscribers, welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, my name is Marvin and I am a manifesting life coach, helping you guys manifest via the teachings of Neville, Abraham Hicks, Joseph Murphy, Catherine Ponder, Florence Scoville Shin, et cetera, et cetera. All the great law of attraction teachers from the past and present. Um, this channel is not a once one stop, you know, shop where I only focus on the teachings of one particular, you know, teacher, because I understand that there's over 7 billion people in the world and that everyone isn't going to resonate with just one particular teacher. So I try to combine, you know, all of these great <clears throat> law of attraction or law of assumption teachers um, and, and, and reference their work all throughout my channel, whoever they may be. Um, so I kind of just wanted to give you guys that little intro. Also, before I get into today's video, um, I want to let you guys know that my Manifest a Specific Person EFT tapping course is on sale um, because of Black Friday. So I would say for the next, let's say until Wednesday, I'll say until Wednesday, I'm giving it 50% uh, off. You know, usually it's 100 USD. Right now, if you purchase it by Wednesday, you can receive a 50% discount, which would mean 50 USD is the cost going on right now for the course up until Wednesday of this upcoming week. Um, so yeah, guys, grab that if you can. So many people have gotten great results with the EFT course. And, you know, I just think it's an intricate part of helping people heal, break free from traumas, et cetera, et cetera, from things that they might not even know about. So if you guys want to go ahead, grab that this Wednesday for 50% off, go for it, go for it. You won't regret it. Um, now, on to today's video. This is really a viewer's question. Um, a viewer had a question about self-love and should we focus solemnly on self-love or should you, can you do both? Can you focus on self-love and focus on your SP? And <clears throat> my answer to that question is it depends. You know, you gotta look in the mirror at yourself and you gotta ask yourself, um, where are you on your self-love journey on a scale of one to ten, one to 10 or zero to 10, you know, where, how do you feel? Do you feel love? You know, now if your self-love on a scale of zero to 10 is like a one or a two or something like that, then me being real, as you guys know, I will always be real with you guys. I 100% would not touch anything related to anything SP related because your self-concept is terrible because essentially self-concept and self-love are the same thing. And this is the thing that a lot of people, they get misconstrued in this, you know, manifesting journey. And they hear people say different words. They hear Neville say these words. They hear, you know, Abraham Hicks say these words. They hear whoever say whatever. And then they start to classify and say, oh, well, this person said this, but it's, it's really the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear, you know, people say self-concept, you know, they mean self-love in a sense. You know what I'm saying? They mean working on your I amness, as Neville would call it. You know, how do you really feel about yourself? You know what I'm saying? And so to me, just like my one of my good friends and mentor, Agnes, we always discuss is, is self-love is essentially self-concept is the biggest piece to me to manifesting anything you want. Because once that clicks for you, you literally don't, it's like you almost don't have to do anything else in a sense. It's like you don't have to necessarily do the visualizations. You don't necessarily have to do the affirming. You know, it's like you still can do it. I mean, again, because like I said, everyone's all at different stages and everything doesn't work for everyone. So it's important to have all these different teachers and this and that, et cetera, et cetera. But if your self-concept, if your self-love isn't where it needs to be, me personally, I would I would recommend anyone to not try to visualize, to not try to affirm for anything SP related or, or whatever the case may be, because you got to understand you guys are going to lose what you get, because I know there's this big thing out there, you know, now, like people say, all you have to do is affirm, 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 but you can affirm, but how effective is your affirming going to be? Are you going to be able to keep what you manifest? You know, and when you just affirm, when you just affirm things like, you know, oh, my SP is obsessing 
or my SP is uh, is constantly missing me. My SP is constantly thinking about me. My const SP, excuse me, is constantly doing this and that. Think about where where you're coming from. That's that's not coming from a place of self love. Why do you need to affirm, you know, two hundred times a day, three hundred times a day, or whatever the case may be, that your SP is constantly thinking about you? Why? Because you're not thinking about yourself. Why do you need to affirm your SP loves you 200 times a day? Why? Because you're not loving yourself. You see what I'm saying? Like underneath of all of this affirming to me personally is still a lot of people coming from a place of lack of people coming from a place of fear, people coming from a place of anxiety. And that's why a lot of times affirming doesn't really work for, for a lot of people because people, it, it, it's worked for some people, but there's been plenty of people that I've talked to that said they affirm, they affirm, they affirm, you know, and nothing happens. Now, again, this could be patience. You know, this could be a myriad of things of why people aren't seeing what they want to see. But to me, it is my belief most people don't see what they want to see is because underneath it all, they have no self-concept. They have no self-love. And you guys can try to skip steps you want. I've talked about this before in my past videos. You guys try to skip. You guys skip steps. You guys don't want to do the work. You guys are what I call lazy manifestors. You want to get what you want without doing the work. You want to get your SP back without changing yourself. But what did I say in one of my videos before? People change relationships to avoid changing themselves. You have to change you in order to for your outer world to change. You have to do the inner work. You cannot avoid that. Now, you can avoid it in a sense, but you're gonna go right back down the same rabbit holes. As soon as your SP and you get in an argument, which is gonna happen, you're gonna go back to the same negative insecurity thoughts. Why? Because you haven't worked on your self-concept. You, you haven't worked on feeling loved on your own, and you're still trying to get and suck love from someone else or something or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying and this is why it's so important and this is why i'm answering this viewer question on self-love yes self-love your self-concept should be your biggest priority in manifesting anything especially an sp because what's going to happen when the arguments pop up or what's going to happen if the sp doesn't text you or what's going to happen when the x when the sp doesn't you know do things that you think they should do you know, what's going to happen then? You're going to revert back to the old ways because you haven't healed yourself. You haven't fallen in love with yourself. You haven't accepted yourself. You still think love is over there instead of inside of you. So always work on your self-love, your self-concept. That's rule number one. Now, can you do self-love stuff along with SP stuff? 100%. Again, like I said earlier in the video, it depends. There's no one size fits all. If your self-love is on a seven or an eight, you know what I'm saying? Then 100%, I would recommend anybody to do self-love along with um, SP meditations because your self-love is already at a high level and self-love and self-concept, when that's good, that enhances your visualizations. That's why so many people can't visualize is because they, 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 they haven't gotten rid of the past. They haven't healed the past. They haven't healed the blockages, you know? So they, they try to visualize or or affirm and they're like, it's not working. It's not working because you don't love yourself. It's not working because your self-concept sucks. It's not working because you don't believe anything you're saying because you haven't done the work on you, you know? So if your self-love is on a high, is your self-love is, you know, on a, a seven or eight, you know, or even a six maybe, absolutely. But what I will tell you is I always recommend self-love being the bulk of everything. Self-love is the crux to me of getting whatever you want. So I always believe in like the 80-20 rule, or maybe even for some people, it's 90-10. You know what I mean? And basically what I mean by that is 80% of the time you're doing your self-concept work, your self-love work. I am loved or turning it into an uh, uh, affirmation type of way. Why am I so loved? Why am I, you know, needed? You know what I mean? Why am I so amazing? Why do people love me? Why are my relationships easy? You know, 80% self-love and then 20% um, I would say 20% doing your SP visualizations or whatever the case may be. But for some of you, that number might be 90-10. You might have to do 90% self-love because your self-love is so low. And then 10% can be spent doing SP, you know, visualizations or, or affirmations or whatever the case may be. But me personally, I'm, I'm at a point now to where, um, 
I really believe I really believe and see self concept as everything. Me personally, I no longer really do affirmations and affirm anything for anyone. I, I really don't affirm for um, you know other people. I don't affirm for and uh, um, you know whatever is going on in my life. You know whether it's SP related or whether it's like I don't affirm anything for anyone because I understand like it's it all has to do with me. So I don't walk around all day and say, you know, oh, I don't and I affirm, you know, oh, why does my SP constantly think about me? Why is my SP texting me? Why is my SP like I, I don't do any of that stuff and I never really have done any of that stuff because I understand it's all about me. It's all about my concept of myself, you know, and I think and I tell anyone that's what you need to work on in order to manifest, you know, because if you guys want to just go and affirm that's cool, but what about your childhood issues that you haven't dealt with? When a fight comes up and that you get sucked back into that, what, how are you going to handle that? How are you going to handle the fact that you never dealt with traumas in your life at any given point when they arise? Because you never know when you're going to get poked on that raw pink nerve. You just never know. And that's why I always tell you guys, heal, 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 forgive yourself, self-love. Because that's the way you handle these problems when, when these problems arise. And I know from experience, the more you work on yourself, when these problems arise, you literally, you literally just like it blows off your shoulder. You know, you don't even think about it. You don't even worry about it because you've done so much work on yourself. So if something happens and you get ignored from your SP or from someone else, it's just like, okay, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, you guys take the emphasis off and you will stop putting so much emphasis on people giving you attention and, and, and thinking people are supposed to do X, Y, and Z for you and catering to you how you want them to cater to you. Like I'm telling you guys, self-concept, when you guys really get the, 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 crux, the crux of self-concept and you really love yourself, it's the most freeing thing because you take all the pressure and anxiety off of you. You take all the pressure and anxiety off of other people to do and love you the way that you think you should, they, you, you stop realizing you, you don't need love. Love's not over there. You don't need to get from people. It's already inside of you. So I just want to jump in real quick and make this video to answer the viewer question about, you know, self-love practices and, and, you know, how, how I would go about it um, versus if you can do self-love along with SP visualizations and stuff. Absolutely you can, but you got to look in the mirror at yourself and understand and be real and say, where are you today? Where's your self-love? If your self-love is pretty good, absolutely, you can focus on doing SP stuff. But if your self-love is terrible, I would not combine SP stuff with affirming or visualizations at all. I would, if my self-love is, if your self-love is terrible, I would 100% focus on just getting my self-love, my self-concept right. And then after that, I would move on to, um, you know, adding some visualizations or whatever the case may be for a specific person. All right, guys, I just want to jump in here and share that with you. Thank you once again for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. You know where, you know when.